What up guys, it's Gab and Bren. We are here today to do a 500 watt solar install with Bouge RV panels. Yeah, so we got five panels ready to go here. Each one is 100 watts. And we're gonna be connecting these 500 to the 500 that we already have. So we have these fun parallel connections, two in one branch connectors. So we'll see how it goes. So here are the panels that we have. These are the 100 watt arc panels. So you wanna show off. We put on some VHB tape on the back. We'll show you guys uh, really quickly how we did that and show them the roll here. We got this just off of Amazon, so that way I think you it can was just. It was 130 feet, and that's all we have left. <laughs> well, our, not just our two jobs. Yes. Yeah. So for a thousand watts, that roll was more than enough. But with these panels, uh, these have been kicking butt. We have them installed on the front of the RV, so we're so happy. We're getting 500 more. Let's get some more. So under here, got my professional cover here to block <laughs> off the mud and water but this is the ecoflow delta pro um so on this on the back of it i can't move it because it's kind of locked in uh but we basically have mc4 connectors going directly into the unit so those branch connectors that i was showing that's the same type of clip it just plugs directly into the unit and as long as we stay under 150 volts we should be good and how big's the battery the battery is 3600 watt hours um so we should be able to charge it in less than a day, which would be really nice. So currently I am doing cleaning duty on the roof. So I am wiping this down. Really, since we are staying at Brennan's parents' house, I'm wiping this down with a wet rag. Normally I would probably want to get a hose and soap and wash and do a far better job, but we're kind of just doing improv right now. So I just have this wet rag that I'm using for an initial first wipe down. Uh, I can definitely see the difference of the areas that I'm wiping. Once I'm done with that, I actually have some rubbing alcohol that I'm gonna use next. And between the water rubbing alcohol, I mean, the VHB tape is so, so, so strong that we really shouldn't have any issues. Um, and we did a pretty similar process for the other 500 watts that we already have installed. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what that currently looks like and show you the area that we are going to be putting these on. Not right there, that is what we currently have done. We have our 500 watts that we put in the front and we like to think that they're strategically placed to avoid uh, the AC and the shading. So that's been really good. The rest of the 500 that we just bought is all gonna go here in this space. So let's get to cleaning. All right guys, so that is before cleaning, that is after. Definitely got some junk off. Take a look at the roof. We're gonna be putting them really kind of like an L shape and then coming here. So all that is now pretty good and prepped. So hopefully we'll be adding on from that 500 watts, another 500 watts to make 1000 watts. So we'll see how it goes. All right guys, we put down the panels here just to kind of see what works. They're not stuck yet. We just wanted to put all the connections. We're gonna tie it into the EcoFlow just to make sure that we're getting outputs and everything is wired correctly. So where we are at is we want to connect this wire to here. Only problem is it's not long enough. <laughs> so what do we do? We have to make a jumper wire, um, basically just an extension of the MC4 connection so that the cable will reach. And to do that, we have this kit, um, which comes with six pairs of MC4 connections. So we're just going to cut the wire and make these new connections on. So then it's plug and play. Um, it also comes with a crimper tool and then these are just to tighten down the connections. All right, so we're gonna make our connections here. This is my second attempt at this because <laughs> I did the right, I did the first one right, but I was a little flustered on camera. Um, okay, so first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna strip the cable So you probably want to strip it, actually maybe a little more than that. Second time's a charm. And then how this is going to work is first, you're going to get on your metal connection. So just lay this inside of the connector there and make sure that's in place. And then we're going to use our crimper tool. This is for the inside is for 10 gauge and then 12 gauge and then 14 gauge wire. We're working with 10 gauge. 
Um, and then it's gonna have, uh, one side's gonna look like an M and one side's gonna look like a U. You want your M to be on top so that that clamps down on the open wire. And make sure that you hold it in place because I'm losing control of it. <laughs> Take. Okay, I'm gonna try to hold it in place and start to lightly press down and make sure that everything's snug, the connection's good. And then you can press down all the way until you can't push anymore. Then hopefully when you take it apart, you've got a good connection on there. So then the next step is gonna be, you're gonna put the plastic cover on top. So you're gonna make sure you unscrew it and keep in mind what parts go where. There's a little rubber washer inside of here. So then you're gonna put it on in reverse order. So first you're gonna slide on this piece and then you're gonna slide on your rubber gasket, I guess. And then you're gonna put on this piece. So when you push this on, you wanna push firm enough so that you hear a little metal pop. Don't know if you could hear that, but that's to kind of confirm that that is snug and on there. And then you're just gonna tighten everything up. So you can tighten it up by hand first. And then you can use the little blue tighteners they give you. One slides on this way, and then the other one you grab onto here. And just keep tightening. until it doesn't tighten anymore. And that is a connection. So now we've done both ends. This is now an extension cable since our wire wouldn't read. Hey, so Brendan just threw me this uh, voltmeter. And so essentially we already made all of our cables for our connection. So a quick way to test that what we're getting is good to make sure that the uh, panels are all hooked up correctly. It's gonna be a bit tough for me to do, but you're gonna wanna connect positive and negative into each of these. So in that way we can see our volts, which we're getting 96 volts right now, which is awesome. That's exactly, actually we were expecting like 80 volts <laughs> or so. So that means that we hooked it up all correctly. So we're good to go and get ready to start sticking these down and finishing up the job. All right, so now we're peeling off all the backs of the tape. It's gonna look a nice black color once you're done. So you know that you've gotten everything. Um, getting ready to stick down the panels. Watch those cords. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty good. I mean, I got plenty of space here. Yeah, that's good. Alright. Hello. <laughs> And the last part here is what we call cable management. So we actually have some of this like awning fabric tape, which actually we find works pretty well. So essentially what we're doing is taping off the cable in places to make sure that the cable isn't blocking the panel and its efficiency. So we make sure that all of our cables are routed now that the panels are all stuck. And also not flopping around in the wind as we drive. A win-win. Alright, all cleaned up, mostly good. We'll drive probably another thousand miles and check it from there, but should be good enough to start. We can go plug it in and see what we're getting, even though we got some shade. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But huge benefit is a no drilling, no holes in the roof installation process. And all done within, probably took us- Two hours. Yeah, two hours to, to do this. If we uh, hauled it out, we could probably do it in half the time, but. <laughs> Not too bad. One more piece. All right, 
right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, let us know if you have any questions in the comments down below. We'll definitely post an update as we keep going cross country to let you know how these things are up uh, or holding up over time. But uh, for now, that's it from us. And thanks for watching.